What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the Godzilla Vinyl Wars from Medicom Toy. Marmot. Marmot is checked off. Shin Godzilla. This is like a kind of translucent plastic version vinyl. It's pretty decently sized. Got this uh, a few months back from the MCT store, I believe. MCT, MCT Tokyo store. And uh, it took a while to get here, guys. It took quite a while. I mean, it's been in my backlog for a little bit, but waiting for the perfect moment to do it. Godzilla week here. Godzilla's anniversary is a, a good time to do this. Um, yeah, looks cool. Card we've seen before, but I'm eager to get into this bag finally. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. So just to clarify what I said at the top, it is the MCT Tokyo store. MCT being Medicom toy. So it's their store. This is a Marmot exclusive to them and it is the clear red version and it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it really is. I'm very, very impressed. I am so happy to get this out of the bag, um, you know, and just really take a look at it because this is quite nice and might be the nicest looking Shin Godzilla I have, I, I think. So as far as articulation, head moves, the arms move at the bicep, I guess. Uh, the legs move there and then does the tail move the tail does not move oh, that part of the tail moves at least does this part of the tail move yes it does a little bit stuck but it does move so you get a little bit of articulation it's a vinyl figure a designer vinyl figure so they're not really you know meant for that much articulation anyway but man this is a gorgeous piece you know I'm a little sad I waited so long to uh, check this out, but, you know, I had a lot to review. <laughs> I have a lot to review, and, you know, this is perfect. Perfect timing. It, it's it's really nice to look at something like this this week, for sure. Wow. I mean, I am really, really impressed with this. So the proportions on this guy are really cool. I think it looks the part maybe the head might be a tad large but i don't know if that's true i don't know something about it makes it feel a bit big but i don't know head on it's not so bad maybe on the side it does eh. it's it's not the worst i do think it really works the pose is pretty good you see his like arms are you know outstretched wide i mean upward turns upwards and that looks pretty good the tail has this curve to it, and I like that. I mean, you can see the translucent plastic here is a little frosted, a little bit white on the tail. It's pretty good. You don't get all the full, full detail of uh, Shin Godzilla there of his tail, but it's, it's all right. It looks decent enough. And then you can see the rest of the tail looks pretty awesome. You see the clear plastic here. Uh, there is this, like, black wash on it. I don't know how they did it. It's interesting. It's definitely an interesting look to this. Because it's hard to tell. It looks like it's just kind of put right into the clear plastic somehow. See that? That's pretty interesting. Uh, I like how it's done. It gives it a really unique look. Very nice tail. Definitely meaty. <laughs> like you want to take a bite out of this. Um, little dorsal fin here. Looks pretty good. The rest of the dorsal fins are really nice. Ah, uh, you know what, guys? I, can, I think I see some of this. Now, I see... There is an extra layer within the dorsal fins, which is very interesting. So it's like a double layered. That's what it is. Is it? Is it that? Is a double layered figure? 
That's pretty interesting if it is. But I could definitely see an extra layer of something within on the dorsal fins, which is very interesting. It's creating a very unique look. I do like them. I do like how the uh, dorsal fins are asymmetrical with some bigger ones on one side and not the other. I think that looks really cool. I really do. So I really like the dorsal fins a lot. You know, going up here, it's a little darker. The head sculpt here is pretty nice. The teeth are done excellently in white. The beady eyes are pretty perfectly Shin Godzilla, so I do dig that. And going down the rest of the body, you know, his neck looks right. Again, you can see right through in those spots, which is cool. Same thing with the edge of the chest. There's a real glossiness right here. There's a gloss to this guy for sure. But it's like more prominent spots like the arms are you can see that they're like glaringly glossy but there's less sculpt here than there is there now you got a little bit of frosting here for the fingers fingernails which looks cool it's done interesting it again it, it almost doesn't feel like paint and more like i guess it is that i'm running my hand on it it's an interesting feel to this guy. I can't describe it. It's not like anything I've seen before. Uh, the way, the method of getting this guy together. Because it doesn't feel like paint. But you do have the varying darks and reds here. Uh, which looks pretty incredible in my opinion. So I don't know if there's a method of darkening up sections with heat or whatnot that they've gone through, but it's pretty rad, I gotta say. The nails are definitely painted. You can see them better here on the toenails. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Really nice sculpt, really works. This is a really nice Shin Godzilla figure. I think they did a fantastic job here. I love the details. I really do. And again, the way it's done with the dark and the lighter reds is really fabulous. I, I really think so. Um, this is one of the, the, the coolest looking clear figures I own. That's super cool. I don't know, man. I really dig it. So there you go. This is, this is a, an excellent, excellent piece. For your size comparison, here's Shin Godzilla with a bunch of other Godzilla figures you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, this is a great figure, no doubt about it. I think this is my favorite Shin Godzilla figure in my collection now. I just really, really like it. Um, it is such a beautiful piece, so glad I got it in this bag. Uh, and got to review it here because now this is going to be front and center in my collection somewhere whenever I get my studio back in order. Uh, but <laughs> either way, this is amazing. Uh, love, love, love it. I'm not sure of its availability anymore, but you can check the MCT Tokyo store uh, for it. It was 75 bucks plus shipping from Japan, so you know, it can get a little bit pricey, but it's well worth it. If it's still available, I highly recommend it. It is awesome. I love how this looks. The way they did this uh, with a clear red plastic with darker bits and lighter bits, it's, it's just something to behold. I think you really need to have it to really appreciate it, see it in the light. Better than what I could show you here. Um, it's just a stunner. It really is. And there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Have yourself a happy Godzilla week. Till next time, peace out.